Sarah Milner here, your Team Beach Body Coach and NCCPT Personal Trainer. I just got done with my workout. Doesn't have to be pretty, just has to get done. And I had a request. Thank you for all your messages about what you want me to do videos on. Send me a message and I will do it. So somebody had a question about switching up their Shakeology and a new recipe for it. And it's so important to shake up your routine because your body gets very smart at it. So if you're constantly eating the same food for breakfast, lunch, and pretty much the same for dinner, you're not getting all the vital nutrients that you need, and you want to incorporate different fruits, different vegetables, different proteins, different carbs. Um, your body gets really smart also with working out. So if you're constantly doing the same thing, your muscles aren't being challenged. And when they're not challenged, they're not burning as many calories. That's why I love all the Beachbody programs because you're constantly doing something different. You're increasing your weights. You're doing a different move. So if you're constantly doing the same thing, and I see it all the time, you know, people are like, well, I go to the gym and I do this and I do this and I do this. I said, A, you're not being pushed hard enough. You should look like this. Or B, you're doing the same thing all the time. Your body has to be challenged for it to change. Same thing with food. I have a couple challengers in my challenge groups that I'm constantly on saying, eat more food. They get the same results. The next week, they're doing the same thing. I'm like, when you start to listen to me is when your body will change. So if you're interested in a challenge group and you want me yelling at you all the time, message me. <laughs> but uh, so today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite shakes that I actually developed myself. And I don't know if there's trademark laws, but it tastes like, we'll say, those cute little girls that walk around with the cookies. Um, it tastes like a Thin Mint cookie, no lie. Even my husband agreed to it. Right, babe? Yes. He's taking So, um, what you do, unsweetened almond milk we start with. So, about a cup to a cup and a half. Here's what's cool about the Shakeology. It is very nutrient-dense, meaning there's whey protein isolate in it, which is the top quality protein you want to put in your body. There is a vegan Shakeology, so if whey is something that your stomach can't handle, there is a vegan. Same ingredients, but they just use a plant-based protein. But the vitamins and minerals, this is the part I love and why I switched over to Shakeology. The vitamins and minerals just aren't put into the bag. It actually comes from food. Superfoods around the world that I have no access to. All those antioxidants, all those phytonutrients, all that good stuff you want to be putting in your body every day. And then it has a little bit of stevia, which is a plant-based sweetener. You can't go wrong. That's all that's in this. What's cool about it, too, is that... This is something that isn't so-called a protein shake. Yes, there's protein in it. Some have 16, some have 17 grams of protein. But this I want you to look at is it's a, it's a nutritional powerhouse. There's so much nutrition in this. That's why I make it mandatory that they drink this every day in the, in the challenge groups. Because sometimes we do. We have an off day. It happens. And I'm okay with that. But knowing you've had the Shakeology, at least I know you've covered the basis of what you need to do. I always say it's kind of like when you go to school. And you're learning, 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 and you take a test, and you know you should have done better, and you, but you didn't prepare. That's the same scenario. So if you're prepared, you'll do well for the day. Sometimes we have hiccups. But back to basics. So about a cup to a cup and a half of almond milk. Now, it is nutrient-dense because it's food. It's not just vitamins and minerals. So I like to add a little bit of water because I like mine a little, like a little thin. Before my workout, I had a banana, um, half of a banana. So I'm putting another half of a banana in here. I do this when my bananas are going bad. I cut them up, I slice them up, and I throw them in the freezer. So this banana's frozen, so I don't have to add any ice, which is great. You can add blueberries to this, strawberries. I've done it this way. The Thin Mint cookie taste tastes the same. You can use almond butter with it, a tablespoon, a tablespoon of regular peanut butter. You can use walnuts. Today I'm going to use some unsalted almonds. So I do about like 10. If I can count right, you know, give or take. You know, I just don't want to dump a half a cup of almonds in. Put that in. Scoop of the Shakeology. Maybe a little more. Um, and then I do a little bit of peppermint extract. This is something you can find around the holidays. It's um, a lot cheaper in the um, discount stores, so just maybe about a teaspoon. So shake I might have put too much in there. Um, put that cap on. Let me move this out of the way. But the peppermint, so I bought like, I don't know, like 10 bottles. It was so <laughs> cheap because I did this. 
Pop it on. This is my Ninja. I live and breathe and die. Recommend it because it's so quick, it's so easy, it's so powerful. You can put frozen blueberries in it and it pulverizes it right up. So, power's on. <laughs> it's done. I have a top for this, but because I'm a pig, I like to just put it back so you can see the consistency. It's so good. So guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. Anything you want me to cover, please message me. If you want to be in the challenge group, please message me. I hope you guys have a happy, healthy day.